Hi everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have Miss Betty, my grandma seller Rosea, right here, being adorable. She's been on her log for the last few days, and I have really enjoyed seeing her um, lay there. She's so cute when she's on her log. Anyway, today I wanted to give you guys a quick update about an art project I've been doing. I had, was making uh, clay water dishes for tarantulas, and I actually did sell a few, and I put a few on my Etsy, and there was some really amazing, beautiful support and encouragement. And even within the last few months, um, a wonderful supporter asked me if I was going to make any more of those. And uh, the answer is I definitely will in the future. I'm just taking a break from clay right now because um, I have a lot to learn in terms of how to work with clay. So I did want to give you an update on that. Um, before I get to my actual art project that I've been more excited about over the last few weeks, um, I did want to talk really quick about what's going on with my Etsy. Um, I don't know if you guys, if you guys were following me from, you know, a year or two ago, I did have actually like tarantula themed shirts on my Etsy and I had to unfortunately stop doing that because I was using a third party manufacturer to print the shirts. You know, I would just kind of like, I had the design uploaded onto the shirts and then through my Etsy, which was linked to the manufacturer, um, they would print and send the shirts out to you guys. And unfortunately, I'm not really sure what happened, but the manufacturer ended up, it was, you know, like many businesses through the pandemic, I think they, they either just didn't make it or they were restructuring and like never really got back from that. Um, you know, they had sent out an email saying something like that and I haven't heard from them since. And so I had to put a pause on all my t-shirts and um, that was really frustrating, honestly, um, because I will have to look for another third party manufacturer and it is a huge project to um, re redo all of that work. And so I eventually want to get another manufacturer and get the t-shirts back on my site. Um, but as of right now, I am focusing on other things and I just don't have the mental energy right now to do that. So um, that's why I no longer have t-shirts on my Etsy. I wish I did, but things happen. And um, so I had to kind of, kind of shut that part down of my creative endeavors. But anyway, I wanted to get back to my actual art project. Just wanted to give you guys an update about the changes that have been going on on my Etsy. And I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is my newest experiment with resin. Um, these were like my first attempts. They're a little bit, I mean, if you have a huge spider or like a communal, these are probably gonna be fine. But I think for like a single average size spider, I don't know, for me, I've always given Spidey like smallish water dishes. I think these are a little bit big, but um, I also am not totally happy with the way I did the sparkles. This was like really my first attempt, but this is like all of it's made with non-toxic resin, which, you know, I've been trying to keep in mind that if I ever do uh, sell these, that it has to be safe for the spiders. Um, the It may not look like it, it's very sparkly, but um, the sparkles are in the resin. So the sparkles are not gonna come off. Like your spider's not gonna drink the sparkles, if that's possible. <laughs> I made a heart one too. I just think these are a little bit too deep for a spider. You can see like I'm really quite new, like the sparkles are collecting in a place where I'd probably rather them not. So I don't know. If I ever put these on my Etsy, they're gonna be like very cheap because these were like basically tests. Um, but got a little bit better. And so I bought um, better molds and these are definitely more appropriate in terms of what a water dish should look like in terms of size and depth. Um, and I ditched the sparkles cause they weren't working. So these are with mica and non, that non-toxic resin. And I'm actually really happy about this. This is so cute. It's very shiny looks a lot better. So I think uh, these are the molds or similar molds I'm probably gonna keep using and get some more. This is a flower one. I really like this actually. The thing that I really am enjoying about this process is like one, making like more aesthetically pleasing designs um, because I feel like a lot of tarantula decor is like very, I don't know, it's just like 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's for like utility, not actually something looking pretty. And if I've learned anything about Spidey's Tumblr blog and like social media is that people really enjoy looking at beautiful tarantula enclosures. I think that that actually makes people more interested in the hobby because they see it, you know, something about like what's in, what's possible. It's not just about keeping. It's it's about giving these creatures a beautiful place to live. So I'm really happy with how these came out. I need to kind of finesse my technique, but I think that like the direction I'm going is probably more in this direction <laughs> versus these. Um, and um, I'm probably going to play with a little bit different molds too so I can make different designs like maybe just a circle one or something like that but so cool. Um, I also started to play and I need a lot more work but like with different I'm trying to figure out how to do, actually do designs or like multicolor ones. <laughs> this is totally like I don't know if I'm going to put this on Etsy but it's a test <laughs> of like multicolored. I'm also really interested in making girly um, things like, you know, like the flower and the heart, just because I think a lot more girls are getting into the hobby. And um, I think we should have options. I think that girls are like kind of like a, I don't know what that is, kind of like a missed demographic in terms of the aesthetics. So this is another design I was playing with. I, I clearly don't know how to mix my resins yet to actually make something look good. Like these have bubbles. I was being very impatient. You shouldn't have bubbles. Um, I clearly didn't clean out my mold. So this probably is not going on the Etsy and if it does, it's gonna be super cheap. But yeah, I'm experimenting. <laughs> so I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, and um, let me know if there are any like designs or advice that you think would help in my product making. Um, if I can get this design right, it would be so cute. Like have like a little different colored rim or like a different center. It'd be adorable. Um, and this is something I'm very excited about. I happened to find a tarantula mold. Oh my God, how cute would this be for a water dish? I wanna figure out, so the mold that I have, oops, as you can see, they don't break. <laughs> Resin's a very sturdy <laughs> material. <laughs> um, so I made this one exactly how I made the other ones, but for whatever reason, this one is like kind of like pearlized, which is fine. That's not a problem. Like it's still very cute, but I really enjoy the look of, oh my goodness. I really enjoy the look of these, like how uh, it's glossy. This is more of like a matte look. I'm not sure if it's like a user error where I didn't do it correctly, but whatever. I am so excited about this design. Um, oh my God, if I could actually get my color resin right and I could actually like make different tarantula species with the colors, oh my God, that'd be so awesome. Um, so I love this idea. I actually really want to put this in Spidey's enclosure <laughs> and see what she does with it. Um, I think this would be so fun for any size tarantula, um, maybe a little bit too big for the babies, but um, oh my goodness. It's small enough that like, even like a juvenile could use it. So this is probably gonna be something I experiment with a lot more. Um, I've never seen a water dish like this. So super, super enthused about it. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been working on. I, um, I did actually get a lot of really great support when I was making clay water dishes, and I definitely want to get back to that, but um, there's a bit of a learning curve for me and um, the clay. I'm just not very, I don't know, for whatever reason, I resin seems easier to me right now, um, and I really love like the color aspect. When you do things like clay water dishes, um, it's just, it's very multi-step and so is resin, but clay tends to take more out of me in terms of like the painting process and everything. Like this is just fun. So I imagine that I am gonna get back into clay water dishes, but right now the resin is making me very excited. Um, I just love how it looks. I love mixing the colors. I love the molds. I think the molds are what makes it the most easy for me. I'm not very good at molding clay just yet. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm very excited about this. I'm probably going to do more this week. 
Um, if you are interested in giving me feedback, please do. I want to make, like if I'm ever doing something for the hobby, I, I want it to be, I don't know, useful, but beautiful or cool, different. Um, and so I love this. Um, yeah, if you've ever played with resin and you, you know, have strategies about getting rid of the bubbles or like how to layer colors so that it doesn't look like a mess, I'm totally into that. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. If you want to check out the Etsy, I might have a few of these posted. These will probably be pretty cheap if I ever post them because they're just like, they're experiments. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, hopefully when I get better, I will be able to make better things. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's the latest project. Bye-bye.